for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Gemini, for the present time, King of Cups and Page of Pentacles. Now, the King of Cups is showing a balanced male and feminine energy, which holds all positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, it indicates an actual man in your life. Usually, when it's representing a live person, it's referring to a very kind and loving man who will usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways that you can see and ways that are unseen. So the King of Cups, like I said, is about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life. No matter what your situ situation is. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. Now this King of Cups is paired with the Page of Pentacles. Which is a card about boredom. In some ways. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little excitement. You might want to rethink the impulse and find a better use of your energy. Because we all know excitement. It can be created. So keep in mind this page of Pentacles, it's a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It gives you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So basically for the present time, we've got a very loving energy here. Somebody who's really kind, compassionate. This person could be coming towards you, or this could be you. Very warm, friendly, and tolerant. There's an element of pure and true love. Could be you, or someone coming towards you, or someone that you know. Now it's with the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Now you see the guy in this, uh, the picture of Page of Pentacles. It's the card that's below the word present. So, just to explain it a little better, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that means student. It could mean a student, youth, somebody younger than you, immaturity. Um, yeah, and with the page of pentacles, uh, this this young man, he's a little bored, so he's doing some silly stuff, and, and on top of that, he's only got one pinnacle, so he's trying to shake things up, just for a little bit of excitement. If you're in a relationship and you get this page of pinnacles, it might have lost some of its luster. But it doesn't mean it's the end. It just means that you have to take action and, dis and discussion to, to make it um, workable. So, like I said, you got someone coming in. This King of Cups, or you know someone that's very loving towards you. And um, they may be young. This person may be younger than you. I'm picking up with the Page of Pentacles. And they may do things that annoy you. Probably. Let's take a look at the rest of the reading and see what it has to say about these two cards. So we'll have to come back to these two. So for now, we'll take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with. They see you as Queen of Wands and Three of Swords. Now the Queen of Wands, it refers to a woman. She'll have a lot of fire energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is not referring to a, it is not referring to a, a actual person. It stands for getting a whole lot accomplished. It could be focused on work or career. This is a very positive card in the tarot. It's an uplifting energy. When it does stand for a woman in your life, she's a good friend who is silently on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, just a side note, when you get the Queen of Wands in a reading, if you're trying to conceive, it's, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. So your person is seeing you as very determined about this connection. 
They can also see you as kind of egotistical. I hope I said that word right. Um, with a big ego, put it that way. <laughs> and um, you, you get what you want. This Queen of Wands is very confident and she knows her worth. So they, they see you for sure. You're for sure, you're f for certain, and you're determined about this connection. Very confident that you can make it happen. And it's, it's with the um, Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords, it's an element of sorrow that's undeniable. But what's, what's on the other side of this sorrow is it's enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to experience any sorrow or pain that comes up so that you, you can move past it. This card, it also points to possibly a deep, some type of deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you try to deny pain, it will not make it go away any more than trying to deny that you've got a broken leg and um, you're trying to make it heal on its own so that's just, just that's just a crazy example but you can't deny any pain and then think it'll go away that's what I'm trying to say so allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now but don't wallow in it you do not and you should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time but you're the only one who will be able to decide how long is long enough and others they won't be able to do this for you so they see you as they think you're experiencing rejection, possibly, some heartbreak. Um, they see you as having some difficulties with this connection. But they know that you're determined. You're determined to make it work. You're confident that you can fix it, whatever problems that uh, come up. But they see you as having some heartbreak. Your heart is broken, and you could be shutting them out with this Three of Swords. But you're determined to, to fix it, or to make it better, or to work on the situation. Now, you see them as the Ace of Wands, and you also see them as the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Wands, it's about new beginnings, very positive ones. They could be related to work or career, or family, romance. If you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are likely to get much better very soon. This card is about upbeat, optimistic, and it's about being hopeful about the future with a really good cause. So, like I said, you'll be feeling really energetic, positive, and if you're not now, you will be feeling that way soon. It's also a good time to start something new. So you see them as very passionate about you. There's this will, there's will and desire when you get the Ace of Wands. And you could also see them as wanting to start, a, this could be someone new, wanting, wanting to start a new beginning with you. And um, yeah, it's about, it's about brand new, great beginnings. So whoever this person is, you know that they're passionate about you. And if you don't, I can tell you now they are. And it's with the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords, it's about another new beginning. So you got a lot of new beginnings in this reading. Uh, some type of new beginning could be on several fronts with the Ace of Swords. Uh, sometimes this new beginning is started by separation, though. Could be a separation from a relationship, from a job situation, from a neighborhood. But just keep in mind, as anxiety-producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, Underneath it all is good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. Keep in mind, the Ace of Swords, it calls on us not to be afraid to make a leap if it's in our best interest. So you also see them like the Ace of Swords. They're facing some type of challenge. Something they need to put a stop to. Maybe this person is already in a relationship. They need to stop the the third party situation before they can come to you and get this new beginning with you. That could be, that's an example of how you could be seeing them. But there's something they need to put a stop to. And then you got, you got a lot of new beginnings here. 
a lot of positive new beginnings here. So they're passionate to be with you and to start something with you new. But like I said, you see them faced with a challenge to put a stop to something before you can experience the beauty of these new beginnings. So let's take a look at why it's happening. Now we've got this Nine of Cups, which is a beautiful card, and the Ten of Swords, which is not so pretty. Now the Nine of Cups, it's one of the most lift, lifting, pleasant cards. I'm sorry, I'm getting uh, tongue twisted. The Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a reading. This Nine of Cups, like I said, it's beautiful. It's known as the Wish card. It's just short of one cup. Everyone wants a Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups is almost a Ten, but it's just missing one cup. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about it's most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. So this card is showing that it's it's about um, happiness and good things to come. It can also mean that um, what you're dreaming dreaming about is most likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, it's a big yes, big yes. So, with this Nine of Cups here, um, yeah, this connection has a possibility, ability, possibility to become deeper, sweeter, better with this Nine of Cups. Um, you or your person or both of you feel really blessed and satisfied. It could just be you or it could be your person. Yeah, but it's got a lot of potential here with the Nine of Cups. But it's with the Ten of Swords. Now, as you can see in the picture, this man is out in the snow, face down, and he's got all these swords stabbed in his back. So it's about, um, it's a signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When it comes up as a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, it's a pretty clear no. So try to keep in mind that when one door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. Trust in yourself and trust in the universe. So someone feels defeated here. There's some type of complete and painful ending. Someone feels like a failure or someone feels like they can't trust the other. So let's recap this reading so we can get the complete picture. So in the beginning we have that King of Cups, that beautiful, somebody very warm, friendly, tolerant, very loving, kind, and compassion, compassionate. So um, it's with this Page of Pentacles, like I said, which is someone that's um, probably immature because they kind of do little silly stuff or things that you don't appreciate. Um, yeah, that, that's the Page of Pentacles. And, but you got this warm and compassionate person here. King of Cups wants to offer you a cup of love. Now, your person, they see you as, as the Queen of Wands. You're very determined about them. You're very determined about this connection. You're very determined to keep it together. But you're experiencing some heartbreak. And it's probably because of this separation that's needed. You see your person needs to break away from something that's in their life or some situation they need to cut it loose they need to cut the cord with something 
so that you two can have a, a, a new beginning or several new beginnings. It looks like they haven't done it yet. And that's why you still, you're still you still experiencing uh, some sadness with the Three of Swords. But it looks like you're determined to hang in there until your person can fix whatever separation that they need to do so that you two can get to your new beginnings. Because we got the Nine of Cups here. This has great potential. Great potential to be a very satisfying connection and it probably feels that way now but there's some heartbreak and then the ten of swords is here so there's some trust issues uh, you're probably Gemini you're probably not trusting your person because they haven't cut the cord or put a stop to whatever they need to put a stop to so you two can have these be beautiful new beginnings so you, you're kind of like um, you kind of feel defeated. Sometimes you feel like this connection is a failure. And then it brings you sadness with this three of swords. Yeah, so they, they need to do the work. They need to cut out something. Like I said, maybe they're already in a relationship. Maybe they're married. They haven't cut out the third party situation, maybe. Something they need to cut out. Maybe they need to move from across country just to and move to move new move closer to you so maybe they need to cut out their old neighborhood and come closer to you something they need to cut out and they haven't done it yet and it's causing you sadness and it's making you feel mistrusting like you cannot trust sometimes what they're saying but once they do the work you got some beautiful new beginnings with this person and nine of cups it's just short of one cup so you two could have it all it's it has great potential because i'm picking up this king of cups it's probably your person they it looks like they they want to offer you a cup of love but they haven't done the work yet they haven't done the work that it takes to get these new beginnings and you probably feel that they could be immature sometimes because maybe they're dragging their feet yeah maybe they're taking their precious time and it's causing you sadness sometimes because you know they need to put a stop to something maybe it's just bad habits yeah maybe it's something they promised you that they'll stop and they never did and a lot of times you just feel you can't trust them because they're they're not Walking the walk and talking the talk. I hope I said that right. Yeah. But anyway, Gemini, good luck with your person. Hopefully they'll cut out what needs to be cut out so that you two can um, have a Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a wish come true. It's a wish card. And you've got it in your reading. So you've got great, this connection has great potential. Great potential. Great potential.